do, and then a bit about training to be an astronaut. So, let's kind of start at the beginning though. What was I up to when I was your age and younger than you? Well, I wanted to be an explorer. That was my dream. And when I was at school, I wasn't great at science. <coughs> it's really easy to carry on doing the things you're good at, isn't it? And it's much harder to look at the things that you're bad at. I thought to myself that scientists have to sit in front of computer screens. Actually, as a planetary scientist, I get to go to interesting places. I get to travel the world. Maybe this is what I want to do with my life. So I'm really interested in the interaction of the sun with the planets in our solar system bits of the solar surface explode outwards and those explosions travel through the solar system and smash into the planets when there are big explosions there are large impacts for us on the Earth's surface. So this area of research is called space weather. This is the latest mission that we've just launched to Mercury. Um, the reason I'm really excited is because we built this instrument that's sitting on board that mission. This instrument is an X-ray telescope and it's designed to tell us what Mercury is made of. We launched it six months ago it will arrive in December 2025. So I want all of the students to think about how old you are now and add seven to that number and ponder where you might be in seven years' time and just think about the fact that I'm still going to be waiting. <laughs> so a couple of years ago, I had been climbing for a couple of months. So I came down from the mountains and I went to a tiny village called Fiendala village of a few thousand people in Argentina. So I opened up my computer and thousands of emails poured in. And one of them was an email from the BBC saying, do you want to be an astronaut? So do you want to be an astronaut? Uh, they really normally come from three different backgrounds. So this is people who are pilots, scientists or doctors. But that's not really enough. If you want to launch a group of people into space, in a small tin can and keep them in one place for months at a time, then you want the kind of people that are able to get along with each other. You want people with other skills, not just science. So everyone has something else that makes them interesting. Just academics, that's not enough. You need to be a much more well-rounded person. It's really important to do things in your spare time that you enjoy because that's what helps you grow these other skills. So I'm gonna show you some of the tests we had to do. And I want you to think about the fact that the fact that I'm a physicist doesn't matter. They did, never tested me on any equations or any maths. It was all about who I am as a person and what my character is like and whether I'm suited to being in space. This first test was to hover a helicopter for 15 minutes. So we are not good at hovering a helicopter. That was the whole point. It's impossible to step into a helicopter and know how to fly it. This was a test of failure. This is a very famous test called the bleep test. Oh. <laughs> I sense that some of you may have done the bleep test before. This is important for astronauts. You know, when you send people into space, they're going to be there for six months at, at a time on the International Space Station, floating, not using their muscles at all, which means they waste away. So when they come back to the Earth, they often have to be carried out of the capsule. Um, their bones lose their density as well, which is really serious. So you need the healthiest people, yep, that's me, healthiest people you can to be running backwards and forwards uh, to be sent into space. This was an amazing experience. I'm so lucky that I had the chance to do this. The prize for the show is an interesting one. It was not a ticket into space, I'm sad to say. I wish there had been a ticket into space. The prize for the show was a letter recommending me, written by Commander Hadfield, to the European Space Agency. The next time they have a, a, a call out for astronauts, I'll have a letter recommending me. The problem is the last time that they, that they put out a call for astronauts was 11 years ago, when the last astronauts were selected. And they might decide that one more tomorrow, or it could be five years away. So I don't know when I'll have a chance to apply, but um, we'll have to see. Fingers crossed. I took the part. So hopefully that's given you all a few ideas about mountaineering or space science or being an astronaut one day.